Pressure is all on Bath. Final moments. The first job done by Dave Atwood. Gathering Weber's throw. There again, another penalty advantage. This is going to be a card. 18 black. Cittadini got to be. 18. To the bin. Parts are offside. Cittadini. 18 from the side, clear. So the situation that much tougher now for the home team. A third line out drive to somehow thwart. Think about it in really simple terms. Cittadini's fresh. He's a tight head prop, which means he's good at sticking his head in and pushing. This is one of the areas on the field where he would be most valuable. He's not there. Again, it's Atwood. Again, the mass of bodies collapse to the ground. Garcez is unmoved this time. Weber stopped in his tracks by Smith. Bath needing a converted try to win the match. There's the advantage again. Wait. And another yellow. Seven. George Smith got to go, knew exactly what he was doing. No Captain. protest. So 15 became 14, becomes 13. Clock in the red. Presumably we're back to the corner the, again or will only decide to, to, to take the scrum, uh, potentially on the scrummage. Okay. Two card. Next time it's a penalty try. Right. This is it, it's where the big boys earn their bacon. It certainly is, but it's also a bit of a toink, a toink, coin toss. Because it, it can go either way in this situation. You really, it's far more high risk than just tapping and going, I always think. Because now, can they go to uncontested scrums? Well, there's, um, Cooper will he go off injured? Come, come, decision to be made here. Jerome Garcez is going to have a discussion now with. Who's this one bring on? The starting tight head is injured. Yeah. And the replacement tight head is now yellow carded. Yeah. They are telling me they have no more players. Okay. To play in that position. So okay. Okay. Thank you. So do we roll again? I wonder now. Kick. We heard that Chittadini Simbin, of course. No, no, Jake Cooper Woolley. Went off with an injury, we saw him grasping that hamstring. Okay, so okay. No scrum. Yeah. No scrum. He changed no, no his mind. Can I just... Can you, change your mind? can you change your mind? I thought once you call for a scrum, you've got to take the scrum. I think he was saying to the referee that well, he chose the scrum on the basis that it would be contested. Yeah. Uh, and now he's changed his mind back again. Now he's changed it back again. <laughs> But they do have to put eight in the scrum and the ball will come out, which means there's two less backs. Huge opportunity to score for Bath. They have to put eight in the uncontested scrum. As it stands, I don't think they are. So Sam Jones and Launchbury are in the second row. We've got Gaskell lined up there at is Robson going to join this? Well, I think Francois Lowe asked the question and Garcia said no. So no contest at the scrummage. Houston controlling. Matawalu breaking and going down a blind alley. Rockland and Goody. Looks like the Fijian might have done that of his own accord there without checking first with his teammates. On go bar through Thomas. What a carry that is. Powerful surge. To get to the ground there. Will the down burst? If you bath here, you just got to keep the ball until Wasp give away a penalty. The next one is a penalty try. Into the fourth minute beyond the 80. Haskell working hard over the ball. Everyone wearing black, just digging so, so deep right now before Homer breaks and Watson scores the winner. Potentially. If that's confirmed, there will be a conversion to win the match.
Riddick. Have a look at his feet. Yeah. Yeah. Homer was Try walking in on the angle that he picked. He chose such Try a good yes angle and he decided to give the pass. Yeah. This is going to be close. Well, they're walking as confidently as they can back towards halfway. There's a grin on the face of Anthony Watson. That's yeah. a try. try. So this gets interesting now with George Ford having to land a touchline conversion to win the game. Jérôme, I have a decision. Pour moi, ce que je vois à l'écran, l'effet doit être accordé. Tu me confirmes You may award a try. Confirmation of the Watson score. And with 13 men on the field, the numbers just did not stack up for Wasps. I think they felt they had done enough to secure all the points here this afternoon. Good transfer from Homer. Homer had been a bit more greedy there, as Oz said, he, would have, he was walking, he was walking in. There's no way you could have stopped him on that angle. Makes the kick slightly easier. Still pretty Australia. tough. Well, they, they say pressure on. creates diamonds. Oof. Eddie Jones will be watching carefully these sort of situations. He wants to see his players thrive. George Ford, over to you. It's Warning straight. It is clearing the bar. And Bath are back on track after a sticky old season. Two from two in Europe. And George Ford has held his nerve. Wasps disconsolate. But Bath picking themselves up, dusting themselves off, and they've grabbed four points at the Rico. Austin, your man of the match. Well, an amazing finish from Bath as Ford celebrates for his son's kick. But it, flat said at the start of the game, is a battle of the back rows. And our Heineken man of the match is Francois Lowe. His physicality over the breakdown, the amount of turnovers he created, but he just led that physical front. Along with Garvey in the back row, those guys stood out. And he's our Heineken man of the match. What an end to a game. Just the work rate those two back rows got through. Haskell, Garvey, Francois, Lowe, Hughes. Just astonishing engines on these boys. What a kick from George Ford. That is class.